Hello and welcome to the 38th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at nav bars. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides, plus the rows and columns. But well, Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create your next awesome website. We will now take a look at the nav bar, which as a navigational bar, uh, is usually at the top out of the web page and is useful for navigation around your website. Just bear in mind for this to work fully, JavaScript will need to be enabled, but I don't think that's much of an issue for most people. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it easy to implement. So let's open up our index.html and code away. So sublime text. And now what I'm going to do, if just scroll down, I'm just going to put it above everything else in the container. Let's go here. The first thing I need to create is a nav element. And this is going to have a class of navbar. And it's going to be navbar default. Its role is going to be navigation. And inside here, we're going to put a div. I'm going to have a class and I'm going to put container dash fluid. Now, the next step is to do I'm going to put a comment, brand and toggle, go group for better mobile display, and the comment. Now, what we're going to do is actually we're going to indent this. I'm going to create a div. It's going to have a class. This class is going to be navbar header. And inside this div itself, there's going to be a button. This button is going to be type equals button. It's going to have a class of navbar toggle. It's got to spell navbar correct though, obviously. Navbar toggle collapsed data toggle, and this is simply gonna be equal to collapse. And let's scroll over now for the data target, we're gonna put equal to hash bs dash example dash nav nav bar dash collapse dash one this is essentially what our nav bar is going to be called the ID of it you can call it whatever you want and then just make sure you update this accordingly and now inside the button itself we're going to have a span and the span is going to have a class of SR only. This is going to say toggle navigation, even though this isn't going to appear. Copy and paste this. And inside here, what we're going to put is icon bar. We don't need anything inside. Copy and paste this. Copy and paste it again. Let's close off the button tag. And now we're going to simply put an anchor tag. It's going to have a class of navbar brand, which will be covered in a future tutorial in more depth. I'm going to put a hash for this. And inside here, we're just going to simply put the text brand. Close off the div tag. And now the next thing is, it's going to create a comment first. And it's going to say collect the nav links, forms, and other content for toggling. And the comment, we're going to have a new div. We're going to have a class of collapse navbar collapse. 
going to have an ID equal to, and this ID is going to be equal to what we put here. And to make sure we don't make any mistakes, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So, so this is where the ID is used, this div right here. So let's just move over. We don't need any more classes or any roles or any data inside this div. I mean, inside the actual div or inline with the div, I should say. And now what we're going to do is create an unordered list. It's going to have a class of nav, nav bar dash nav. And inside here, what we're going to do is have a list item. This is going to have a class of active. And inside here, we're going to have ahref equals. And inside the ahref, we're going to put hash. We don't really want it to go anywhere. And what we're going to do is put link. Now we're going to put span class equals sr dash only I'm just going to put current now we need to close off the span tag and finally close off the anchor tag as you can see right there the next step is we're going to create another list item this is going to be a lot simpler it's going to have no class it's going to have an ahref hash and inside here we're simply going to put the word link now we're going to create a drop down so what we're going to do is li class oh, we need to put the class inside class equals drop down I'm bad to spell something correctly we'll find out when I run it drop down and inside here what we're going to put is ahref equals to hash the class equals to drop down toggle the data dash toggle equals to drop down the role is a button let's scroll over so you can see a little better the area dash x Expanded is equal to false. Inside here, we're just going to put drop down. We're going to put a span class, and this is going to have carrot inside it. Basically, this is a little arrow that conveys to the user that this is a drop down. We're going to close our span tag, which it has just done on this line right here. And finally, we're going to close off the anchor tag. Now the next step is within here is to create an unordered list which is essentially our items that will be displayed in our drop down. So I'm going to create ul class equals drop down. Just one thing to note is that we're adding a lot in here. Most of it you may not want because you may want a simpler menu or you may just want a certain type of item multiple times in the menu but we're just showing you all the different things that oh, quite a lot of the different things that you can put in there and inside what we're going to do is put a list item this is going to have a ahref equals to hash close off both tags and in here it's going to put action lights camera action Okay, I might do that. Lights, I was going to put something else, but lights, camera, and action. We will leave the drop down items at that because we've covered drop downs before and you can check that out for more information on how to do, well, more advanced drop downs. Close off the list item, close off the unordered list. Now the next part is to create a form. So form class equals navbar dash form 
navbar dash left. So navbar dash left this class puts it to the left is pretty self-explanatory. Row equals search as an extra task, just mess about with navbar right and put it in different areas as well so you can see how it works. Now in here what we're going to do is have a deal with a class of form group. This is going to have an input, not input, input. Going to have a type of text. Class is going to equal form control. Place holder will equal search. Uh, let's probably close off the input tag and that's the div tag done now we're going to have a button it's going to have a type of submit its class is going to be btn btn dash default which we've already covered and inside here we're going to simply have the text submit we're ready to close off the form. Let's scroll down a little bit so you can see it a little better. And now what we're going to do is create a unordered list. So for the unordered list, we're going to do ul as we usually do. Class equals nav navbar dash nav nav bar dash right. As you can see, we're using the navbar right class, which basically aligns you to the right. This is a really easy way that's built into Bootstrap instead of coding it yourself. So use these as much as you can because they're cross-platform, I mean cross-browser, cross-platform. It just works really, really well. So we are all done with the unordered list tag. Now let's create a list item inside. So we're going to do ahref equals hash. And we're going to put a link inside here. We're going to put a list item with a class of dropdown. And inside here, what we're going to do is have an ahref. It's going to have a hash class dropdown toggle data toggle equals dropdown. It's going to have a role. Of button it's going to be area dash expanded equals false and inside here what we're going to be putting is drop down again a lot of this is already covered in previous tutorials so we're just joining it all together into a navigational menu and I put carrot Close off the span tag, close off the anchor tag, and let's put this on a separate line so it's organized a little better. And now within here, we're going to put a list, I mean, an unordered list, which is essentially the drop down that visually appears. So, unordered list can have a class of drop down menu. Its role is going to be menu. It's going to have a list item. And that's going to be ahref equals hash. I'm going to put action here. Let's close off these tags. And now what we're simply going to do is going to copy and paste this. Because again, like I mentioned, we've already covered drop downs earlier in this series. So if you want more information about that, just check those videos out. And check more videos about out about all the other individual pieces that are going into this navigational menu so you can get what you want and put it in the navigational menu. And now we're done with the unordered list. We are also done with this div as well. Actually seem like yep yeah, I mean we need to close off the list this list item. Done with this unordered list. Just closing off all the div tags now I mean just closing off all the tags. And now the next step is to close off the div tag. The next step is to close off the div tag again. <laughs> and the next step is to close off the final div tag. And let's put some comments here. 
and inside here we're going to put navbar collapse end. Put another comment here. Container dash fluid end. You can add just a regular container if you want instead of the fluid container. So let's just zoom out. It's going to have a quick scan of the code, make sure everything seems to be spelled cor correctly. It does, so that's good. It's going to run it now. Should hopefully work okay. Actually, did make sure I saved it. Yes, I did. So if I just open this up in my web browser, we have our navigation menu. Before we start trying to mess around with anything, let me inspect element. Go to actually, yeah, there's no red here, no error. So it seems to be running a okay. So we have our little brand image, which was at the start. We have our links. This is the active link. This is our drop down. This is, this is what we would put it in the form, which is a little search menu. We have a submit button, we have a link down here, and we have another drop down. So this was the stuff that we put to the right, this was the stuff that we put to the left, and these were just one after each other. They automatically start on the left. So if we just resize this, as you can see, it resizes really, really well. And when you go really small, so something like a mobile device, you get this little drop down or this menu button, you click it, and all the individual items are here. It still looks really, really cool and slick. We didn't code any of this. This was built into Bootstrap. We just coded what we wanted to put in our navigational menu, and it just worked. Worked. As an extra task, what we want you to do is get this navigational menu and actually put it outside of this container, so it's not within a container, and see how that runs. The next tutorial will cover navbar brand images, if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.